warm welcome to Raflims. This is Farooq Hussain, and today we are going to learn how we can add an Urdu virtual keyboard and how we can display new arrivals on Koha OPAC. So to do that, we need to work on Koha global system preferences of Koha OPAC. So let's start. So let me open the Koha demo. You can open your own system, I mean Koha system. <clears throat> so you just need to open your web browser and they just need to write Koha demo. Or alternatively, you can visit Koha community site so you can reach the Koha demo site. <clears throat> Koha demo is actually for practice purposes. So there you can see so let me open this one, the very first staff interface and then back. You need to log in with the given user ID and password. So demo and demo is given here. <clears throat> so there you can see there's no virtual keyboard and we are going to add one virtual keyboard in Koha OPAC. So let us uh, so let us start in Koha administration. In Koha administration you have to go at the let the system work. Okay. So global system preferences. And there OPAC. And on OPAC you have to go at user CSS and user JS. So there you need to put some script. I mean CSS script and JS script. So I have few. I mean I have one. So let me show you. This script is actually for keyboard. It's user CSS. So let me copy this. And then I will explain what I did actually. copy paste on so you need to paste this script on koha opac user css and then open koha opac user js js is javascript and save them. Now see the magic on Koha OPAC. So there we insert one Urdu keyboard. So there you can write and search the Urdu title. For example, let me write, uh, if you have catalog in Urdu, so you can search actually. So let me write one Urdu novel title. Raja uh, and let me search. So there you can find two results to so see Raja Gid. So this book is available and written by Banu Kutsia. This is actually one of the famous novel. So you can see we have search. <clears throat> so you can add this Urdu keyboard, Urdu virtual keyboard to plug in Urdu on your Koha system. You need to work on Koha tools. 
So there you can actually plug Urdu or any other regional language. So let me show you what I did actually here. This CSS actually is working on a container. So you can see Urdu keyboard container. The container is uh, this one. This is called the container. And the color would be black. So you can see this is a black and the pointer is cursor. <clears throat> Then the further details, height of the container, width, border, border left, uh, border right. So you can see the whole details. Even the background image is also uh, mentioned there. If you want to change, you can change this as script. And uh, let's talk about JS. JS is starting from masthead. Masthead is actually uh, this portion is called masthead. This one. So this is actually masthead. So we are adding one Urdu keyboard in masthead. So if you can see this. And uh, then let me show you the title of keyboard would be Urdu keyboard. So you can see the Urdu keyboard here. You can change this. And on first line, you can see these alphabets will come. So you can change them with your own. Uh, I mean your regional language alphabet if you want to change them uh, on second line these alphabet will come on third line these alphabet will come and on the fourth line you can see the fourth line the space bar so there you can see the first line the second line and third line and the space bar so this way we actually display an Urdu virtual keyboard on Kohao pack so if you need this script, you can contact me uh, on my email address or you can write on the, uh, uh, in the comment box. So I'll provide you the script of user CSS and user JS. Okay. To plugin Urdu, you need to work on Urdu plugin or regional language plugin. So in your Koha system. So when we come to Koha tool site, we will uh, let you know how you can plug in Urdu and or any other regional languages. So now let us move to the second part of this video. On that part, we will learn how we can display new arrivals on Koha OPAC. So here we have two methods. One is manual. The second is automatic. So let's talk about manual first. So we need to work on the Koha demo system and you can use your own system. So let me open the Koha demo. Uh, okay, this time I'm going to open this system. So you can use your own system or you can work on any Koha demo system. So you need to log in with the giving uh, login ID. Okay. And you can see the staff panel, I mean the Koha pack and the staff panel. So there we have one script actually, it's simple HTML script. And you need, let me uh, tell you about this script first and then we will work on this. So there you can see it's paragraph and I have write this line within the paragraph it's please tap the cover image for biblio record or you can write any for example new arrivals you can use any <clears throat> and then from the next line it is start as marquee behavior we all know marquee it's a scrolling from left to right and right to left so the scroll direction is from right to left and then we have the target the target url would be the koha uh, default url 
with the biblio number you can see this is actually the koha default url backslash cgi dash bin that uh, uh backslash koha backslash opac dash detail and dot pl pl is pearl script and then question mark and then you can see the biblio number so there you need to provide the biblio number of that particular book that you want to display on koha opac and then you have to provide the image url of that particular uh, uh book image and then you can write the title and border and you can also adjust the size let me tell you how so let us open the koha demo system and for example you just catalog few new books and you want to display them here okay so let me select few random books for example this one this is just an example and okay and this one so let me open this and i'll show you where is actually the biblio number so we have two records so there you can see the biblio number is 5651 here we have the biblio number 658 so you need to copy the biblio number first and this is actually already written here 651 and then you need you need to copy the image url uh right now its image is display here for instance the image is not available then you need to select the title and perform the google search and then you can find the image and you need to copy you need to click the right on the image i mean the right uh, of your mouse and just need to copy image address what you need to do you need to copy image address and you need to paste the copy image address here and then for the next record you need to copy the same script paste here and you need to provide the biblio number for example the biblio number is 658 so you need to provide 658 here and then the image url so you just need to copy image address and then you need to copy the whole script and you need to open the koha administration we know uh in administration we have global system preferences on global system preferences we have to go the administration so there you have actually choice so you can display the new arrivals on the left navigation or you can use the uh main user block so for this case i would recommend to use main user block and on opac you will find the main user block by control f or you can use i mean you can uh, use this uh, anyways so the main user block and there you can need to paste that script see what happened here 
Now let us see. So here we have two books and you can add as many as you want. And this method is actually good for local books. The books have no ISBN number, so you can use them. And you can use your thesis collection as well. So let me click on one image. And it will redirect you to that particular record. And you can see it's available. Please tap the cover image for Biblio records. Now you can see this. And the same thing you actually can use to this uh, for slideshow as well. So let me show you how. Just need to copy the same script. And you can redirect your user to some other website if you want to redirect them some other website instead to this or you need just to display the slideshow random slideshow so you can work on this script so you can use this script for example i want to redirect my user to hec digital library so instead to write the koha uh, default URL you need to write the the address of HEC digital library there so let us open the HEC digital library and copy the image address and paste here and then you can actually provide some image that will actually represent the digital library. So let me search on Google a laptop and the book. So there we have lots of images. So you can select any, for example, this one. And just need to write, uh, just need to click write from your mouse and the copy image address and you need to paste that image address here and just copy this and paste here now see what happened Okay, the size is too bigger, so we need to adjust the size. So don't worry about this. You just need to go here and after the image URL, you can provide the title here. Let me bigger this so you can see. So you can provide the title here and you can write the, the uh with actually okay uh i don't remember this <laughs> wait, 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 wait. 260 i think and then height would be 140 let us okay if i put the correct spelling so it will change the okay now you can see the image 
and when I click on this image, it will redirect me to HEC Digital Library. So this way you can add uh, a slideshow. And if you don't want to provide some URL, you or just need to provide a random slideshow, so you can actually there's no need to provide the email. I mean the web address. That's it. So now when you click on this, it will not go anywhere. And you can actually change this, uh, this scroll, I mean, so it's scrolling from right to left. You can change this left to right. Let me show you how. You just need to write right here and save and click and thus just refresh this and see what happened now it's scrolling from uh, left to right so this method is good and quite effective to display new arrivals manually and you can use this method for slideshow and this method is especially used for local language books I mean the book having no ISBN number so you can use them I mean this method to display new arrivals or the slideshow but there you need to remember few things you need to provide the biblio number of that particular record and you also need to provide the URL of that particular image and you have to adjust the size as well so instead to use this manual method we have one automatic method so there you need to use one website it's feed dot mickly m-i-k-l-i dot com And there you can start for free so let us click start for free and then you can you need to provide your email address and the password and just create an account alternatively you can use your Facebook account or the Google account and you just need to sign here so I have already created one account here and just sign in And now when I have signed in here, so I will create one RSS feed. You just need to click here create and then RSS feed. You need to select RSS feed because we are creating displaying new arrival in RSS feed mode. So here we have one example. This is the example. And instead to use Koha demo system, let us go to some live system. So Koha user worldwide. This is just a random example. And you can use south asia europe africa or any part of the country so let us select i mean any part of the world so let us select the europe in europe let us select australia in australia we have this institute of science and technology so let me select this this is one live system of Koha and here we are at the back of this system. So what you need to do, you just need to search, go to advanced search and then 
I want to display books here, new arrival and click on book and sorted by acquisition date, newest to oldest and then search. Now what you need to do, you just need to copy this URL and that's all. Alternatively, you can use the simple way. Just go to search and perform the search. If you don't have this field, instead of relevance, you just select the acquisition date newest to oldest. And now you need to copy this URL and you just need to paste here. So you can use your own Koha system instead of this. I'm just showing you as an example. And just click on plus button. Now you will see it has created the display of new arrivals in this form. And they are auto scroll. From down to up within four seconds. So there you can change actually. Now See the width is responsive, responsive is it's adjustable on all sides of the screen and the height is 400. You can, uh, you can add some more height or you can decrease this and then it's a scroll on. Instead to scroll vertical, you can scroll horizontal like this. See? but vertical is good scroll bar is on auto scroll is on so you can use the normal and you can use the movie created movie created something some format like this you can use this format as well movie created but normal is good so you can short the speed four second so you can make it three second or any and you can change the scroll direction from uh, down to up you can make it up to down and there we have some style if you can see this style it's text thumbnail so you can see the thumbnail available if you just want to display text so you can this way or thumbnail is good and you can change the position of thumbnail from left to right for example this I think this is good and you can add a title its main title see there's a title new books you can use new books or new arrivals and change the color for example this or this let me select this and then some advanced feature so you can make them bold you can change the color you can provide the font color as well and then background, you can add some image in background if you want to add. And the display post is 10. Content and title. You can unselect any of them. If you just want to display title, you can. No content. And you can on. The links of original content link to original content see there's a link and read more you can add read more here like this and display more post link 
like this you can see this uh, if you can see this let me shorter the size more post like this okay and lots of setting actually and the social share custom font time format and each and everything you just need to save and get code there you have two varieties one is copy code if you want if you are planning to display the new arrivals in this i mean main user block so you can use this if you are plan to display new arrivals on the left navigation so you can use the uh, 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 iframe actually so let us go copy the iframe and you just need to paste the iframe here so you can actually use the main user block as well iframe is good actually you just need to copy the iframe code and then you have to save this now see what happened here because we do not have the admin access to this particular system so we are using this demo site now see it will scroll automatically and they actually displaying the new arrivals according to the acquisition date when someone click on this title or this link he or she may redirect to the particular book see in the new windows actually and if you want to show this in the navigation box you can use this for example navigation you just need to copy the code see what happened okay see responsive now taking four minutes i mean four seconds not four minutes <laughs> anyhow so this way you can display the new arrivals automatically but there is something let me show you this is one of the buy product all of the uh, all of the widgets will be disabled in 14 days okay not going to read me oh my god okay let me show you once again all of your widgets will be disabled in 14 days unless you buy one of the plan so let us see what actually the cost if your organization can afford this this is quite good actually so annually you have to pay nine dollars that's all and for example if your organization can't afford this so i have one complete script here the same script actually one complete same script see this is the same thing that i have and let me show you there you need to provide the link of your koha search result and there you can adjust the frame size the font and you can change the title there you again need to provide the same link of your koha system i mean the search result the background color the title color 
and you just need to copy this on your Koha system in navigation or in main user blog. So I'm copying actually in the main user blog. So now let's see what happens. See, so you can change the color, you can change the text, whatever you want. So if you need that script, you can write to me, you can comment within this video. And thank you very much for watching. So I have all these scripts for you, so you can contact me.